Hello scientists, welcome to Dropout Med. This tutorial we will be drawing lymph nodes and shout out to these two scientists who suggest this tutorial for everybody. And uh, if you find this tutorial helpful, please like and share with your friends and colleagues and uh, hopefully we can help as many scientists as possible. If this is the first time you're at my channel, welcome. I'm scientific illustrator John and I create these graphic abstract tutorials to teach scientists scientific illustrations. Uh, so uh, without further ado, let's get into our tutorial. So here are two examples that I found and um, the top one is from the Nature Review. Uh, however, it is uh, in the uh, horizontal direction, uh, which is not the conventional direction that we'll see how the lymph nodes are placed. Uh, usually it is uh, more like the bottom one. Uh, so I will spin it uh, for 90 degrees. Uh, so it will look more like the conventional ones that you see in illustrations. Okay, so uh, first let's grab our rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Then I will use the uh, direct selection tool to round the corners uh, until the uh, two sides are rounded. Then I will grab my pen tool to add one anchor point on this side. And then I will drag it in a little bit. So uh, then they, we can create that uh, afferent lymph node uh, exit. So, okay. And I will use the corner round corner widget to round uh, these three corners. Then I will use the direct selection tool to adjust these two anchor points on the left. So uh, the left side can be rounded uh, and smooth as well. Then I'll make a copy of it to uh, use it as a backup. Then uh, I will increase the stroke thickness of the outline to 14 points. Then I'll give it a green fill. And so here we will expand both of the fill and the stroke. So this will allow us to uh, have the outline as a object shape as well. Uh, the benefit of this is then we can give it a fill and also an outline. That will allow us to create the subcapsular sinus. Uh, it takes me so many rounds to get this word right. Okay, and um, if we move it back to our uh, lymph, lymph node shape, then you'll see uh, it has become the sinus. And now we can create a linear gradient to our cortical sinus. And I will spin the gradient uh, direction to minus 90 degrees. And that's uh, give it a lighter color. Um... Now we will start creating these processes, which are the trabeculae. And uh, so first let's grab our pen tool and draw a um, triangle like this. Then I will select the anchor point and then use this convert anchor point to smooth to make the tangent line smooth. And we can adjust the handle to make it into a, a process shape. After it's ready, let's move the process in. Then I will make copies of the process and uh, distribute these processes. I will add some anchor points on these uh, processes and then just uh, manipulate it a little bit. So uh, it will look more organic in a way. Once you're happy with your trabeculae, you can move your subcapsular sinus up uh, to the front and then uh, select everything, go to your Pathfinder tool and then, and then click on Unite. Uh, this will uh, help you to merge everything together. And now we're ready to create the B-cell follicles. So let's first grab our ellipse tool, make it fit into these uh, intertrabeculate uh, space. 
and then I will make copies of it and distribute it. Then I will uh, manipulate some of the anchor points and just play with the handles to make the shape more uh, irregular. Uh, so it will look more like the uh, B-cell follicles. Okay, then uh, I will apply a pink color to uh, the B-cell follicles. Now we're ready to add on the limbs. Uh, so uh, let's first uh, grab our rectangle tool and then um, just quickly apply them on to the position that the limbs should be. Then we'll select the rectangles and the subcapsular sinus. Then we will use the Pathfinder tool to unite all of them. Okay, so now we can go to the gradient tool to apply a green gradient to this entire structure. Then I will switch it to a radial gradient. And uh, so you will get that same feeling of uh, that uh, the lymph uh, is flowing in and out. Uh, as you see in the nature review uh, example. Okay, and now we will need to uh, apply the, uh, this, uh, the epithelium on the lymph. So let's grab our rectangle tool again and create a rectangle. And I will just steal this uh, gradient from the cortical sinus. And then uh, around the corner of our rectangle, uh, not complete, not completely rounded, uh, but just uh, the four corners are uh, rounded, so we can get this uh, rod shape cell. Okay, and I will give it uh, the outline. And then we will add a, a nucleus to this cell. So let's use our ellipse tool to create an ellipse and let's move it in. And also it needs to be a radial gradient. And then we will need to apply a darker green gradient to our nucleus. So let's apply that. And then I will give it the darker green. Actually, it's the mo more saturated green. Um, okay. Now the uh, epithelium cell is ready. Uh, let's uh, scale it down. We can have the outline thickness consistent while we are uh, scaling up and down of our objects. Okay, and let's move the epithelium cell onto the lymph. Um, I will first make a triplet of it. I will make the middle one going to the opposite direction, so uh, the thing will look a little bit more interesting. Okay, and now we can apply it onto uh, the epithelium of the lymph. Okay, once they are on three of the limbs and uh, there's one last thing that we need to do which is uh, clipping out the outermost line of the lymph and to do that we will need to use a function called the clipping mask so first I will create an ellipse shape I will make the fill transparent so we can see uh, the coverage better Okay, and make sure that your ellipse is covering all the parts that you want to see after the clipping. Once it's ready, select the subcapsular sinus and then right click and select make clip and mask. And then you'll see the uh, outermost uh, outline has been cropped out. And the uh, fill has become a gradient that is fading out into the white surrounding. And then here I'm just doing some uh, minor adjustments uh, in the gradient shape. So uh, 
so the afferent lymph will look more natural instead of just being cut off. Okay, and uh, once that's done, then we have the lymph node that uh, you see in Nature Review Graphical Abstract. I hope this is helpful for creating uh, illustration for your publication. Also, I've set up a system called the Draw Biomed Helpline, which can uh, let you to uh, make your request, a pri prioritized request. And so you can see it on uh, this channel and also on Patreon quicker. You can check out the Patreon link in the description below. Please keep on letting me know what kind of structures and topics you like to know about scientific illustration uh, down in the comments. They are really good inspiration, not only uh, to help me to make videos, but also help the scientists around the world. So uh, I wish you all happy Joe Balmet and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.